where a lady approaches the prophet and says that my parents have forced me to marry a man against my wishes. And the prophet said she has the option of either continuing the marriage or nullifying the marriage. There's a similar hadith mentioned in Ibn Majah, hadith number 1875. It's the same hadith. A woman approaches the prophet and tells her that my parents have forced me to marry against my wishes. And the prophet says, you can either continue the marriage or you can nullify the marriage. And the woman says, I continued the marriage, but I wanted the woman to know that the parents cannot force their daughters to marry someone who they don't like. The Quran says in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 228, that the women have rights similar to those against them on terms equitable, but the men have a degree of advantage. Based on this verse of the Quran, men and women are equal except in leadership. The Quran clearly says that the women have rights, those similar to them, on terms equitable, but the men have a degree of advantage. Now, many of the Muslims, they misunderstand this ending phrase that the men have a degree of advantage and they think that men are superior. And they quote the verse of the Quran, that the men are superior to the women. So Allah has said, the men have degree of advantage, the men are superior. What they're quoting is the verse of the Quran which was recited by a wonderful Qari from Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 34, which says, that the men are the kawam of the women. What is the meaning of the Arabic word kawam? Kawam comes from the root word akama, which means to stand up for. How we have akama before salah, we stand up for salah. So this Arabic word kawam means the men have one degree of additional responsibility and one degree additional service towards the woman, not one degree of superiority to boss over the woman. And if you read the tafsir of Tabari, he says the Arabic word kawam means one degree of additional responsibility. Because if you read the verse ahead, the verse says that Allah has given men more strength than the women. So because of that advantage, it is the duty of the men that they should take care of the woman, they should not boss over her.